it was Memorial Day weekend. I didn't feel real bad then, I just felt lightheaded, a little exhausted, and I thought, this yard work can wait. And so I came inside and laid down on the couch, and um, I wound up pretty much sleeping through Sunday and Monday. I kept the appointment, went in, and they did an EKG, and about 30 seconds later, she walked back in and said, you're on your way to the doctor or the emergency room. And I thought, that's just crazy. I said, you mean you're not gonna tell me it's all in my head? And she said, no, you got a problem. So I got up there to um, Good Samaritan and uh, got checked in, and the next thing you know, there were people taking care of me right and left. Barry's diagnosis was a heart attack. His artery, which um, is a major heart artery to his heart to provide blood flow and oxygen, he had 100% blockage. My job is to get the artery open. We identify the blockage and we're able to get across the blockage with a wire and kind of like a railroad track. We deliver equipment up the railroad track to open up the artery and ultimately put a stent in. After they got me into surgery the uh, Wednesday morning and did the catheter procedure, boy, I felt really good then. It was just night and day. I didn't realize how awful I'd learned to feel was okay. They put me on a Holter monitor the next week and the results were good and then I went back for the next two procedures and boom, healthy. I could get out. I was walking five, three, four miles right after, you know, I, not right away, okay. I would go half a block back and forth, but it seemed like awfully quick. Barry's prognosis is very good, and I always first emphasize to my patients that after you have a heart attack, we should feel very lucky because we've had an opportunity uh, to identify the heart attack and to treat it. Now we're focusing on secondary prevention so you don't come meet me again in the middle of the night type scenario. So we focus on medication, lifestyle, um, uh, mental health, um, so that we maximize the chances of a good quality of life and minimize the chance of having a repeat problem with the heart. And that's one of the most rewarding parts of, of cardiology is that uh, if you can care for the problem and expect the patients to really focus on their life. I don't want to do this again. <laughs> so I've learned my lesson. I'm going to follow directions. I'm, I haven't missed a pill yet. Everything's on schedule. I'm doing good with my diet. All the numbers from the last blood test came in. The care I received from Kaiser Permanente was a gift. It was a blessing. It was exceptional. And I can never be thankful enough. <laughs>